Good morning, all of you. So, I am going to teach you the concept uh, that is uh, identification of recombinants using LEC Z gene. Now, this gene is used as a selective marker, it is used as selective marker. Now, what are these recombinants? Recombinants means if we have a bacteria here and this bacteria we are inserting a gene of interest in this bacteria say for example if we are if we are taking this uh, cloning vector and in this cloning vector we insert the gene of interest and this cloning vector which have got the gene of interest in it if it is inserted into this bacteria so this bacteria will be called as transformant all right so along with this transformant bacteria in the experiment we have got many non transformant bacteria also so we have to identify the bacteria which have our gene of interest all right so this is the uh, transformant or we call, call it as recombinant we call it as recombinant cell so we have to identify this recombinant cell now for identification of recombinant cell we have to select an a cloning vector So, in this case when we are using leg z gene as selective marker uh, we have to select a cloning vector and that cloning vector we commonly use is a PUC8. So, let me draw the diagram of this cloning vector here. This PUC8 have got a gene on it and another gene okay, I can show this black color so this is another gene present in this PUC8 vector so we insert these two gene as selective marker so this is the gene which is called as amphicillin resistant gene and this gene the second gene is lac z gene so this cloning vector is P U plus mid U C 8. We have already done this P U C 8. Detailed structure I am not going to show you, but I am only showing you the selective markers. So, two selective markers we are here we have taken that is amphicillin resistant gene and leg Z gene. Now, the role of this leg Z gene is this, this leg Z gene forms an enzyme beta galactosidase. But this enzyme is uh, half enzyme that means half part of the main beta galactosidase. All right. Now, what happens if this is another incomplete enzyme? It is actually an incomplete enzyme which will not work. In natural environment, we find a bacteria that is E. coli bacteria and we notice that some of the E. coli bacteria are different from the natural bacteria, natural E. coli bacteria. How they are different? These bacteria have an enzyme, uh, these bacteria have a gene in, on them, on the main chromosome. And this gene is again bacterial leg Z gene. All right, but this bacterial leg Z gene also forms an incomplete enzyme. This is incomplete beta galactosidase. All right. 
So, when these two incomplete beta galactosidase that is the incomplete beta galactosidase formed by the bacterial gene, bacterial leg Z gene and the incomplete beta galactosidase formed by the leg Z gene which we have taken in the PUC8, when these two enzymes are combined together, okay, then we find a complete then we obtain a complete beta galactosidase all right so in our experiment we have to form two different uh, enzymes which have to be completed by joining to them and this complete beta galactosidase enzyme have got property to convert lactose into glucose plus galactose all right but this enzyme beta galactosidase this enzyme have got another property which we use we have a substance which is called as x gel this x gel can be converted into a blue colored substance if this enzyme beta galactosidase is present along with an indicator enzyme which is called as iptg it is an indicator enzyme so this is another property of the beta galactosidase the beta galactosidase converts x gel into a blue colored substance in the presence of iptg it is an indicator enzyme now this x gel is a substance which is called as five, which is actually 5 bromo 4 chloro five bromo four chloro three indol three indol beta D galacto pyranoside. beta d galactopyranoside so this is the complete name of x gel now iptg indicator enzyme it has got its full name also it is isopropyl thiogalactosidase i am writing it here iso propyl galacto thiosidase isopropyl thiogalactosidase we can add this name thio isopropyl thiogalactosidase it is an indicator enzyme actually these two enzymes together converts the x gel and the x gel is 5 bromo 4 chloro 3 indoil beta d galactopyrosidase so x gel is converted into a blue colored substance with this enzyme so this is another property of this beta galactosidase enzyme now this x gel and lactose are analogous to each other that means the enzyme can work on lactose as well as on x gel together that means if lactose and x gel are present then this enzyme will work first on it will first combine with the x gel and will convert it into beta galactosidase and the lactose is left behind so this is the property of beta galactosidase enzyme now we are using this property to identify the gene of interest to identify the recombinant cells or the transformant cell now how do we do that okay so we take this 
PUC8 this PUC8 have got amphicillin resistant gene and this PUC8 have a net uh, we have inserted a gene for incomplete lac z formation we call it as lac z gene which forms an incomplete beta galactosidase now we insert a gene of interest here insert a gene of interest in lac z gene what actually we are doing here we are doing insertional inactivation we are doing this insertional inactivation all right so uh, we can show the like this is the gene of interest we have inserted so this is the gene of interest All right, so let me draw this diagram. So this PUC8 it will be transformed. So we are not disturbing the amphicillin resistant gene, but this uh, gene of interest is being inserted in between the lac z gene so the lac z gene are been is is will split in two parts this is one part and the next part will be here so we have uh, inserted the lac uh, inserted the gene of interest so this lac z gene is disturbed the half part is there and the remaining half of part of the leg z gene it is here so this puc8 cannot form the beta galactosidase that is incomplete beta galactosidase it not form now we insert it in in the bacteria it is inserted in bacteria which bacteria that is e coli bacteria obviously so this is the bacteria this is the main chromosome of the bacteria now this main chromosome have got a gene that is lac z gene and here we have taken this puc8 here with the amphicillin resistant gene and the lac uh, and the gene of interest has been disturbed a uh, gene of interest has been inserted and the disturbed gene is the lac z gene here and this e coli bacteria we call it is it as recombinant because we have inserted the gene of interest here now what will be the property this bacteria e coli will form only the half part of the enzyme beta galactosidase rest half which was supposed to be formed by this uh, lac z gene is not been formed so there is no complete beta galactosidase inside it all right so we culture it in a ag agar block what uh, we culture this bacteria in a dish with agar it is the medium here but we are also taking in this in that dig we are also taking plus amphicillin plus x gel plus that enzyme iptg iptg so how many components we have taken in the dish one that is agar block on which the bacteria will grow, grow. second amphicillin that is the antibacterial x gel third which is an analog to the 
lactose and fourth is IPDD this is indicator enzyme. Now let us have the structure of that. Uh, if we have uh, this uh, petri dish here and on this petri dish this bacteria will colonize. So what will happen? The colonies which will be, uh, be formed by these bacteria will be of different types. Some of the colonies will be blue. Oh, I am taking this uh, blue pillar. Okay. Some of the colonies will be blue, but rest of the colonies will be white or no non blue. All right. So, what will be the case? If we analyze this culture plate, then what is going to happen? The blue colonies we will say that they are non recombinants. All right, the colonies which are non blue or we, we can say which are white, no color developed, they are recombinants. And what is going to happen in this culture plate? What is happening in this culture plate? We find these non recombinants because these are those bacteria, this colony non recombinants which are blue, call it as blue, this colony have got those bacteria which have the gene of interest or oh sorry which have the PUC 8 in them, but the gene of interest is not present over them. The There is complete uh, lag Z gene. All right. So, the lag Z gene which is present on the chromosome and the lag Z gene which is present on the PUC8, they both will form complete beta galactosidase and this beta galactosidase which has been formed here, this enzyme beta galactosidase which is completely formed by these two enzymes. This enzyme will convert X gel which is all which is being supplied in this medium X gel into the blue colored substance with IPTG which I have already told you. I have told you here the X gel is converted to blue colored substance if the beta galactosidase is complete here. Complete full formed beta galactosidase along with the indicator enzyme will convert the X gel into beta blue colored substance. So, what is the case of these colonies? The, these blue colored colonies are those colonies which have got intact lag Z gene of both chromosome as well as PUC8. But what is the case of these colonies? What is the case of non blue colonies? So, if we take a, a if we analyze the bacteria here, so these non blue colonies have got the chromosome, bacterial chromosome. This bacterial chromosome have the lag Z gene, but uh, here the PUC is insertional inactivated. That means, the gene of interest is present here, but and the lag Z gene is been distorted, it is been disturbed. So, the beta galactosidase is not complete here, incomplete beta galactosidase will be formed and then the X gel cannot be converted into blue color. So, these colonies will be non blue or we call it them as white colonies will be there. All right. Now, what is the use of that uh, amphicillin resistant gene? That means, if we, we are taking amphicillin in this medium also, then those bacteria which interact with the amphicillin and do not have, this, this is the third colony. We, we can say this is not colony, actually this is non-growing bacteria. This is, they are those bacteria which die in, if the bacteria die in amphicillin, then they are again non-recombinants, they will die, they will not form colonies. Uh, so, amphicillin we are taking here because we have to first screen the uh, those bacteria which do not receive the PUC8. If the bacteria do not receive the PUC8, they will die because they are they, they will not be able to survive in amphicillin. Those bacteria which receives the PUC8, now they are of two types. Some of the PUC8 containing bacteria will have intact lag Z gene, they will turn blue and some of the PUC8 
containing bacteria have got gene of interest in them and so they cannot form the complete beta galactosidase they will be white so easily we can identify the blue ones are the non recombinants and the non blue and the white ones are the recombinants so this is what i want to uh, teach you for today so i'm just having a quick revision of what we have learned here so the topic which i have selected was identification of recombinants using lexer gene now the lexer gene we are we taking it as a selective marker along with the amphicillin resistant gene so if uh, now we have uh, we have to, uh, uh, let me explain you what is the recombinants the recombinants or transformants are those cells where the gene of interest is been inserted now we are taking a cloning vector for this experiment as poc8 the natural structure of the poc8 uh, which we have developed is uh, amphicillin resistant gene and the lexer gene the case is this lexer gene which forms an incomplete beta galactosidase the bacterial chromosomes also forms the bacterial uh, incomplete beta galactosidase if we combine both this gene uh, both this enzyme then the complete beta galactosidase will be formed all right that means if we insert the puc8 in this bacteria this bacteria will start forming complete beta galactosidase enzyme now the if we talk of the property of this beta galactosidase it converts lactose into glucose plus galactose but if we supply another substance which is analog to lactose that is called as x gel uh, then this beta galactosidase enzyme converts the x gel into blue colored substance along with the iptg indicator enzyme if those two enzymes will be there the x gel will be converted into beta a uh, blue colored substance now x gel is 5 bromo 4 chloro 3 indol beta d galactopyranosidase and this uh, iptg is isopropyl thio galactosidase enzyme now what do we do here we take this puc8 which have got in lexer gene we insert the gene of interest in between the lexer gene by using certain restriction endonuclease enzyme obviously and then this will be insertional inactivation so the lexer gene is been disturbed so this gene disturbed lexer gene will not form beta galactosidase half part so if we insert this puc8 with the gene of interest inside the bacteria then the bacterial chromosome will form the beta galactosidase but that will be incomplete enzyme but this uh, because of the gene of interest the lexer gene of the puc8 cloning vector will not form rest half of the beta galactosidase so this bacteria if uh, uh, present in the medium and if this medium contains agar amphicillin x gel ipp Uh, tg then this bacteria will turn white it will not turn blue all right so by chance if we have an a blue clony a dying bacteria clony the bacteria which are been di uh, dying and then another clony which is white so we can clearly identify the blue ones are the non recombinants and the non blue are white ones are the recombinants so the, like this we can identify all right uh, these bacteria became blue because uh, they have got the two and gene the lexer gene present on the chromosome and the lexer gene which is present on the uh, beta galactosidase uh, the uh, present on the puc8 they are all intact no there is no gene of interest here so beta galactosidase will be there and this beta galactosidase along with this enzyme will convert x gel into blue colored substance so this clonies will become blue but the rest of the clonies which are non blue will be white that's it thank you very much enjoy your day